everyone. Welcome to Messy Church video for October. And this week or month, we're concentrating on St Paul. And he was in prison with Silas, his great friend, who stood by him on all sorts of occasions. So you don't hear a lot about him. And also, we are concentrating on letters, because St Paul was a brilliant letter writer. So, we'll hope you've all kept well. And... The plan is, we're doing a video today with a brilliant programme. We've got, let me read this because otherwise I'll forget somebody, me. <laughs> and then we'll go on, Jill Waters has got special announcements about special occasions in people's lives, which will be nice. And you'll see a new face because you haven't seen her for ages, have you? And then we have um, our video of our God is a great big God. So all join in with the singing and the actions, right? After that, after that, Marion is going to read the story, which is about Paul and Silas when they were in prison together and what happened. Now, one of the things that happened was that the jailer was converted at the end, but you'll hear about that in the story. And Guy is going to come on next with a demonstration, a brilliant demonstration of showing how the Holy Spirit builds up in people. After Guy... Ingrid, who you won't have seen for ages either, so it's another face, um, is going to talk to you very briefly about treats. Treats are always pretty welcome, aren't they? So that's good, something to look forward to. And after Ingrid, you'll have May, is going to do a prayer and farewell. I think I've got everything in. Yep, I think I've said everything. So, on with no further to do, I could take you on to Jill, but I just wanted a quick word about last Wednesday when some of you came with painted rocks from the last month's goodie bag and we've started building here our COVID snake and there's little Josie doing a stone and also Andrew and Alexa they they are both planting stones and there's some lovely paintings here they're from Jasper and Leo and they're actually of St Paul's Church, which we're displaying. So any time you want to add another painting or another stone, our snake can grow and grow and grow, fade in the weather, like COVID-19 COVID will fade and we'll all be better. That's lovely, isn't it? So when the snake's faded, we'll be able to mix again, which I'm looking forward to. And I want that board covered in paintings, please. So pop them through the letterbox at St Paul's. This month we'll drop a, um, a goodie bag off to everyone. Everyone will get a goodie bag, but we'll deliver it for you, all right? And in the goodie bag there'll be a few crafts, a little treat, and, um, well, that's about it, but it'll be fun, right? Uh, you'll have things to make, things to do. You will also have a stamped address envelope. On that you can write the address of anybody and send them a letter. Uh, you can all share the one envelope, so you have to send the letter to the same people, like a granny and granddad, or an aunt and uncle, or a cousin, or a best friend. And, and say how you miss them and remember them during all this lockdown, so we have locked up a bit like um, Paul in prison, aren't we? Similar. Not the same, but similar. And Paul used to write to all his friends that he'd left behind in different places, so they kept in touch. That was how he did it. It's called the Epistles, and it's in the Bible in the New Testament. Just after Acts, you'll find it, or the story of St Paul's. And then uh, uh, also in there, there will be a little thing you can make of a prison cell. And there's Paul and, and Silas in prison. There's the chains. And you can lock him up. Lock him up. That's it. And that'll be for you to make at home. You'll get a little cross window that you can colour. Either use as a window or cut out and use as a jigsaw. And and we've got the photos I've showed you, haven't I, already? I think I've forgotten. I've lost the plot. I always lose the plot. Anyway, um, that that's about it, I think. Oh, yeah, there'll also be a plain envelope marked lockdown on the front. I want you to do me a special favour. This was by Guy's director's idea. He said, get people, your parents, your, your friends, your aunts and uncles, any grown-ups, to write about how they're feeling in lockdown. Put it in the envelope and pop it through St Paul's or St James's door. It'll be marked lockdown or Holy Trinity, any of our three churches. And we'll open them in June. 
when this is all over and a thing of the past. And it'd be interesting to remember how we felt at the time, uh, because this month, funnily enough, it's got the equal days, hasn't it? Equal day and night. And June is in nine months time, it will be the longest day, which will be interesting to have the contrast between how we're feeling. Anyway, we met to get onwards and upwards, so I'm going to pass you over to Jill and I hope I'll see you again soon properly. Bye. Hello everyone. I've been going through the Messy Church birthday book. We've had a very, very busy October. We've had six birthdays and two birthdays were on the same day. Now, Emma, on the 2nd of October, was five years old, and Caitlin, who also had a birthday on the 2nd of October, was six years old. Caleb, on the 7th of October, was five years old. I hope they all had very lovely birthdays on those days. <clears throat> now, we've got a bit of a gap, and... On the 21st of October, Ariana is five. And on the 26th, David is seven. Now, that's only five children, isn't it? And I did say we had six birthdays. Well, guess who the sixth birthday is? On the 16th of October, one of our Messy Church team the lovely May has a birthday. So that's our six birthdays for October. We hope that Ariana and David and May all have lovely days when their birthdays come. That's all for now, folks. Bye-bye. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Paul and his very good friend Silas. Now Paul was a very important character in the Bible because he was one of the very first people to be called by God to spread the good news about Jesus. And many of our churches are named after Paul. For instance, our little church in Bushy is St Paul's Church. So this is one of the very many stories about Paul. Paul and Silas found themselves in jail in the Roman colony of Philippi, looking something like this. And I think you're going to make one of those jails later. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns while the other prisoners listened. The words they spoke and sang brought hope to everyone in the prison. Suddenly, there was an earthquake.
the earthquake was so violent and loud that everyone was deafened and the doors of the prison flew open and all their chains were loosed. See Paul and Silas in prison? Chains all fell off. Now the jailer woke up as it was midnight. He woke up and was very, very frightened. He thought, I'm in big trouble now. All the prisoners will have escaped. The Romans are going to punish me because I wasn't doing my job properly. But all of a sudden, Paul shouted to him, don't worry, we're all still here. The jailer couldn't believe it. He thought there was something very special going on here. So he went in and looked at Paul and Silas and he thought, I want to be like you. So he said, what must I do to be saved? They told him, just believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He will save you. So the jailer helped them with their wounds because after the earthquake they had a few scratches and scrapes and then he took them home to his own family where they all sat down, had something to eat and drink and all chatted about Jesus and the wonderful things that he'd done and the good things he'd brought into people's lives. And that very day all the jailer's family were baptised and they all became believers. So the story had a very happy ending. I wonder what that story tells us about God and us human beings. I'll tell you what I think. Let's think about the jailer. You see, before he met Paul and Silas, I think the jailer is a little bit like this balloon here, all flat and wrinkly, not full, because he was a cruel person. He only did what he was told to do, and he thought the, pers the people in the jail were absolutely worthless, and that's why he treated them so cruelly. Until he met Paul and Silas, and through them he heard about Jesus, and the Holy Spirit began to work in his flat, shriveled little life. Can you see I've got a balloon over here? I think it might have been a bit like this. Oh, look at that go. Wow. So just like this inflating balloon, the Holy Spirit filled the jailer and his life from being empty became full. And he was filled with joy and he wanted to know more about the Jesus that Paul and Silas were talking about. And that's what God does with people. He saves them. Who saved the jailer? Was it Paul and Silas? I don't think so. I think it was God himself who filled him up with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is just like that. I'm just going to put this down right now. And the Holy Spirit is like that secret ingredient that I used in that experiment there, like this bicarbonate of soda. And we can see without the balloon how that works. If I put some in this dish here, and vinegar, it fizzes up. Can you see? Fizzing away like that. And I think that the Holy Spirit, like that bicarbonate of soda, definitely got to work in that prison, not just with the jailer, but with lots of the other people who were watching, watching and wondering what on earth was going on. I wonder how those prisoners reacted to what they heard. The Holy Spirit can move in our lives and our hearts just like that, and he really wants to, so that we can have lives that are full up and full of the energy the breath, the wind of God, blowing up like balloons so that everyone can see that Jesus has affected our lives. Hello Missy Church friends, it's been a long time since we've all been together and I've really missed you. So today I've made you something really yummy and you'll find it in your goodie bag. Look forward to seeing you soon when we can all be together. God bless and take care. Hold my hand, God, lead the way. Help me be good every day. 
Let me know what's wrong and right. Keep me safe, God, day and night. Let me know what you have planned. Lead the way, God. Hold my hand. Amen. Well, that's it for this month. Next Messy Church is on Wednesday, November the 11th. Um, every family should be getting a goodie bag in the next day or two. And can I just remind you that Forest Church is on Sunday, 18th of October, which is a week on Sunday, at 1.30 in St James Churchyard. And finally, to all October birthdays like mine, have a happy one. Yeah! May you find peace, may you find hope, may you find joy this day. May you find love, may you find rest here in this place together.